Are you heading to the Bahamas this winter? Wondering what should go on your prep list? It's going to be different for everyone, but I can suggest a few things to spur your thinking. Hi there, I'm Carolyn Sherlock, and on this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast, I'll share my to-do list for our second trip to the Bahamas. Today's podcast is taken from a couple of newsletters before our second trip to the Bahamas, telling what we were doing to get ready. I think it's a good thing for anybody. I mean, you may not have exactly the same things that you're needing to do, but it gets you kind of thinking about the things. Okay, the first newsletter is from a little less than three months before when we wanted to leave. At this point, we're primarily investigating options, making decisions, and starting to make lists. A few things too. Okay, so what did we do here? Well, we decided that we wanted to switch from a blade of bottom paint to hard, figured out the work involved, and scheduled the haul. It was definitely time to be dealing with this. We researched some problems we were having with our current outboard. Let's hear it for you too. Believe me, it's so wonderful to get the uh, technicians and so forth there. With that help, Dave was able to repair it. And so we no longer had to try to find new to us one. Much cheaper, much cheaper. We began researching the options for internet in the Bahamas. We also inventoried our diesel, our outboard, and our general boat spares, decided what we did and didn't need to buy. We ordered two sporty seats for the cockpit as an alternative to new custom cockpit cushions. These turned out to be absolutely fantastic, much cheaper than custom cushions and more comfortable too. And finally, I downloaded Aquamap, which was brand new at that time, navigation app. Got familiar with using it. It was, turned out to be a really good thing that we had a solid backup in place because our chart plotter bit the dust the first day out. We discovered that we liked Aquamap better than the chart plotter even. And now Aquamap is one of the Boat Galley sponsors. Quick tip is you're in these early planning stages, a list app that will sync between all of your devices, your phone, your tablet, your laptop, is wonderful for letting you add items to the list, no matter where you are. And also for sharing them between family members so that everybody can add things to the list. It was critical for keeping me organized. Now, about a month before we left, I updated everybody again on what all we were doing. The big thing I'd been working on right then was a bunch of repairs to our dinghy, basically making it as close to new as I could. It had several very slow leaks. I also added some patches to other areas where I saw wear, but there weren't yet leaks. This is always a good thing to do if you see wear. Put a patch on before you've got a hole. It's so much easier. Also, I painted the bottom with anti-fouling paint. That wasn't all. At this point, we also checked over our ditch bag, made sure everything was still in good condition. A few items had expired, and we had to replace them. We arranged for enough of all of our prescription medicines and emergency medicines in the first aid kit. There's a link in the show notes to my article, Cruising and Prescriptions, telling you how we did this. Now, when we had bought Barefoot Gal, two of our floorboards had some bad sections from hatch leaks. We finally felt confident that we had totally stopped the leaks, so it was time, time to replace those. We contracted with a local wood shop to do the basic work. Dave and I simply aren't skilled at carpentry, and the cost of teak and holly plywood is absolutely frightful, so we wanted to leave it to the professionals. I did finish the wood myself. We just had them build them. Also at this time, about a month before we were ready to leave, I began stocking up on provisions for the Bahamas. Every time I went to the grocery, I picked up a few extra things. I also put in a big Amazon order for various spare parts, provisions that weren't available locally, extra pairs of sandals, and other stuff. We also had orders other places for additional spare parts. Getting all of that and getting it all ordered in plenty of time is critical because orders can get backlogged more than you think they will. I also spent a lot of time poring over charts of the Abacos and getting familiar with the cruising guides, their notes on various anchorages. It was this trip back in 2019 where we were often looking for anchorages with particular protection directions that made me say there had to be a better way than reading through pages of cruising guides and poring over charts. 
And that's what led to our creation of our quick reference cruising guides, where it's just so much easier to find just what you're looking for. Things like ATMs, propane, etc. It's all so much easier. And this trip was the one that really made me realize that there had to be a better way. So we invented it. At the same time, I also spent some time just chatting with other cruisers who have spent considerable time in the Amic House and have a cruising style similar to ours about where their favorite places were, where to get certain things, and all of that information. And finally, we purchased Dan Boder Medical Assistance and Evacuation Insurance, just in case, particularly as we're getting older, it's a good idea to have some evacuation insurance in place, but really for anybody of any age, because if something serious happens, you're going to need to get to the nearest medical center and that's probably going to be Miami from most of the Bahamas. NASA does have some, but most serious cases get pulled out to Miami. Now, as the time got closer to when we were leaving, we took care of all of the paperwork, we finished provisioning, we got the bottom cleaned, and we went for a couple of day sales just to test all the systems. That's really important to do. Okay. That's basically it for this episode. But what I want to do is say, you know, if you need more help as you're getting ready for the Bahamas, or you're just feeling a little bit uncertain, wondering what the best way of doing things is, or you want to streamline the whole process, our online course, Get Ready to Cruise the Bahamas, is really just the ticket for you. It has everything you need to know, and it walks you through the legalities, crossing the Gulf Stream, provisioning, getting internet access, what to do in an emergency, and so much more. There's a link in the show notes. And also be sure to grab a copy of our Bahamas Quick Reference Cruising Guide. That's sold both in our own store and on Amazon. It's brand new out. We just put out a new version in October. So it's completely up-to-date information. Both the course and the cruising guide are going to make your trip so much easier. Thanks for listening to the Boat Galley podcast and have a wonderful time on your trip to the Bahamas. Be sure to tell your friends about our podcast and be sure to subscribe so that you never miss an episode. And hey, with that internet coverage you'll be getting over there, you can keep listening while you're there. (laughs) 